A review of our rail network could spell more bad news for long-suffering Sydney commuters. Selling of trains, cutting staff and hiking ticket prices are all on the cards. Josh Murphy joins us from Milsons Point. Josh, these are only recommendations, so how likely are they to be taken up? Sandra, that's a question we tried to get answered, but the Premier was very up and down on this today. The recommendations stem from a report that he ordered to find efficiencies in government. Well, it's back, and one of the bigger reforms suggested is that Sydney commuters may be better served by the trains being contracted out and run by a private operator. Now, it also suggests that guards be scrapped from some services to save money, but one of the more controversial recommendations is that there be a hike in ticket prices to recoup more of the money that's spent running the network. Now, of course, none of that is an easy sell. And when quizzed, the Premier simply said none of it is current government policy. But he didn't rule out that it may happen down the track. Here's Barry O'Farrell. Firstly, no government can do everything at once. Secondly, uh, we've set priorities for ourselves. Those priorities reflected in the fixing the trains policy outlined by Glass and Gicklin. So no real clear indication there about whether any of these recommendations will see the light of day. The Premier may have commissioned the report, but he's definitely in no rush to put any of it into action just yet. Bill and Sandra. All right, Josh, thank you.